I'm Dave McPherson from InMe, and uh, we're at CDS Studios, uh, beginning the recording of the trilogy, starting with an album called Door. Uh, trilogy is a mildly pretentious concept, uh, which I love, of um, the idea of three different albums that are musically themed and also lyrically themed. So this one, being Dawn, is about the sort of a big cycle of life. So this one's about uh, beginnings and birth and youth and childhood. Uh, and the next one will be, and this is sort of a rock album, then we follow that up with an experimental sort of, hard to describe, sort of Pink Floyd-esque uh, album, uh, which will be about uh, life and ambition and uh, adulthood. And then, <coughs> The closing album, Quietus, will be uh, about death and endings and will naturally be a metal album. This is our very own Mike Curtis, long time collaborator, recording <laughs> stuff. Uh, we're working on a trilogy and we're working on a Dawn album at the moment and we're going to talk you through some of the gear, mostly Mike is. I am. So basically we're using Gibson SG USA. Light red. <laughs> Light red. <laughs> we take this down so I only use one pickup. This one. Sometimes Mike tinkers with me it's doodah fun. and uh, changes the intonation for when we're doing the high stuff. Uh, Mike likes to tape this up as well with masking tape uh, that doesn't stick. Uh, so two of the songs are in standard, the rest are in DADABE. Moving on to the amps and pedals, uh, we're using a T-Rex Moller in front of a Messageal Wreck at the moment. And I think I'm, when it comes to mix, I'll blend in a Thunderverb um, with an orange cab. And cabinet-wise, we're using standard rectifier Messa cab. With some very futuristic communication skills for mic adjustments, actually. Yeah, we're Skyping room to room. We like to use Skype for mic adjustments. Um, yeah, and just using a 57 and a 421. <laughs> Pretty standard, really, into API preamps. With every recording with Mike, his professionalism increases, but it's directly proportional to his stress levels. I don't know where the studio cats come from, but. Just walked in the door. Let's have my lap. Excellent. You done this the other day, didn't you, when I was mixing? Proper digging him in. How's he doing that? More than there. He's down and dribbles on him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drums are sounding immense. I've done all my guitars. Gas is yet to come in. He'll come in at the end. Do, do a few days. Track all his parts. Probably have some kick ass solos ready. Um, for Greg, he's always been able to just come in and create whatever bass lines he likes, I just trust him with it. Obviously I've lived with these songs to death, demoing and writing and working on them all the time, listening to them all the time, uh, so it'll be interesting to see what someone else's interpretation of these sort of intertwining melodies uh, with my own stuff, that could be pretty interesting. I've, I've reconstructed two songs that I wrote well over a decade ago, uh, one I think when I was a teenager actually, So. So that's a pretty cool inclusion to the concept. Mm -hmm. 